hi guys happy friday happy friday you guys i am up we're getting ready to leave the house um uh, brandy is here you guys she's here from california and she's getting um dressed she's pretty much dressed she's doing her makeup right now um but yeah we're getting ready to go out and explore we're gonna be safe while doing so um the girls are getting ready to go with miss alicia i don't know where they're going but they're kind of getting out too um let me show you guys what i'm wearing today maya picked my clothes out so there we are can y'all see got my legs out today got on some tennis shoes a little wrap around my waist and my little fanny pack um and that's it that is it that's all but yeah i need to find my glasses um i'm happy that today i'm off you guys i get a four-day weekend because I, I actually took off on monday and today we're closed anyway because of the holiday so yes thankful for that y'all have no idea no idea how grateful i am to have a day off i wonder if these glasses will be all right let me see hold on These look okay. What y'all think? I bought these glasses and never really wore them. Kind of have like a little cat eye look. Probably wear these. Or my Cynthia Bailey's. How these look, Maya? Cute. Cute. These look funny. I don't think I want to wear the gold ones. But anyways, you guys, Maya's getting dressed. She's off today. You know, she got her little job at Kroger, so she's happy to have a day off too. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all. Oh, Baby's at work. He did come home last night. And then ended up um, leaving this morning because he had to work today still, messing stuff up. He still had to work. Um, he'll be home either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. He was hoping that he can get home tonight. So anyway, Brandy got in on Tuesday. I took off on Tuesday to um get her from the airport and then um we just kind of went a few different places because she is considering moving out here so basically this trip was to just basically see what areas she would be interested in looking or living at um she did have a couple of cities in mind so um for the last few days we kind of like drove around to the different cities that was on her list and um so she can kind of see and get a feel of what those cities are like so um she found one that she's pretty interested in and then there's like three more she wants to um check out so we'll probably do that on saturday because um babe also wants to go and i mean not saturday but sunday so he can kind of drive us around the different cities that we haven't already um been to or i mean we've been there but not really for looking at like areas to live and things like that georgia is so big you guys there's so many different areas here um and a lot of the homes are nice but like i was telling brandy because she is a city girl it is country like you either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it because it's, it's, it's country it's a culture shock it's different and um it's still nice but it's not what we're used to seeing you guys know if you're from california what i mean it's kind of like night and day basically 
so um i like it um but it's just you know some people are used to just seeing the city so if you're deciding to move to different states you guys have to consider like the difference between where you live and the new place where you're looking i just so happen to like it but anyways um yeah so that's what's on the plan for this week um today we're gonna go to like uh, the belt line it's an outdoor area where you can just kind of walk and um you know do do that we're gonna wear our mask and uh social distance but you know i, I like things like that during this time because you're not indoors you're kind of outdoors you can breathe in natural air and not just being enclosed where there's a lot of um breaths going around in a building y'all understand what i'm saying anyways um there has been a spike in the numbers here in georgia and all around the world i could imagine i mean i don't watch the news like that but i have been hearing like on the radio and things like that that the numbers are really going up so you just definitely got to be careful so we're just trying to be creative and find different things to do that don't put us in um i guess an enclosed environment where our chances are higher contracting the coronavirus if that makes sense but anywho um i'm just waiting for brandy while i talk to you guys i just wanted to start the vlog i'm gonna bring you guys along and hopefully we'll have a nice day happy friday time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard to stay afloat yeah we keep moving like the river goes yeah. the new round we were drinking a green tea smoothie from Arden's garden <sighs> and it's actually got me really full it was like a spinach pineapple mango smoothies really good but I'm nice and full now uh, we're trying to, oh maybe that's the belt line right there we're trying to find the belt line you guys we're just a little bit confused. Right. So this must have a rooftop, like she said, maybe up there. We're just kind of confused right now. We're trying to figure things out, but this is what it's looking like where we are. That's the new realm. Let's see what this is looking like. Oh, I think this is developed line right here. Yep. You guys, I have on my mask, but I can't breathe. Oh yeah, there's a rooftop. I was gonna get us all 
Okay. So basically, this is the area, yeah. Like the trail right here. Where you would uh, walk, I guess. And this is how it is out here. Yeah, this is it. This is the belt line. So I guess you would just walk. Yeah. So we're here. Uh, my thing is, where do we park? Because can we stay there or not? I don't know. What do you think we should do? But I feel like these people park there, right? Well, how do they know who parked where? Because where do where would people? I don't know. I guess we could just walk. Shoot. I guess it's just a trail you walk. Whew, you guys, I can't breathe. It's so hot out here. It's super hot. And uh, you want a picture in front of that? No. <laughs> Can't drink my drink with my mask on. But there's no one around me. Just so y'all know. Y'all be coming for me without my mask on. I just wanna make sure that the car is okay. And just you can warm down this sound. It's a lot of Stuff written on this wall here. They got Black Lives Matter. It's like a big, huge mural here. Brianna Taylor. Oh, this say Black Lives Matter on the ground too. Black Lives yes. Matter. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> oh, honey, girl. <laughs> y'all see how greasy y'all look right here? <laughs> oh, wee. Oh, mm. Mama is greasy, y'all. So we're, that's the belt line back there, but I'm just concerned about parking. So what I'm gonna do is go out of this parking area because this is mainly for uh, the restaurant that's right here. And the problem is the restaurant is not open because one of their employees tested positive for COVID-19. And so they have to, I guess, clean the place and uh, get um, approval to back, open back up. So they don't know when they're gonna open. So that's, that's our dilemma with that because this is where we were gonna come here and eat with her friend but they're not um the kitchen is closed so they're only serving beer that sucks but you guys i gotta go put some pressed powder on because i'm just shiny honey why y'all didn't tell me we're here right here by the car where right here in front of this truck and it is hot out here so look after 5 p.m saturday and sunday mm, no belt lighting parking so it's only valet though but if it's closed if all these are just takeout i don't know how serious i think is. it might be okay because especially since the restaurant isn't Our open food. Mm -hmm. What you think? It's hard to say. 
Maybe we should just move where we know we safe for a fact. Because I don't want to come back and my car is gone. That would be really sad. <sighs> Alright guys, so we ended up here. We're at the Botanical Gardens right now. It is so beautiful here. We have a lot of like exhibits, um, flowers, gardens. Uh, right now we're kind of like on the, I don't know, kind of like a little bridge. Um, skyline Gardens. Orchard Center, Edible Garden. Uh, it's just a lot of gardens here, you guys. They have exhibits. They have a um, Alice in Wonderland exhibit right now. Oh my God, this is kind of, look at this, you guys. So we're on this little bridge here. So nice. Mm -hmm. It's so peaceful. That's the vibe I get too. Okay, what peaceful? You can hear the birds and the the waterfalls. So nice. And all the trees kind of block the sun, so it's just really nice. It's almost like an amusement park for like gardens because it's a really big place. Like I don't know how long it would take to walk through this whole thing. Let me show you guys the map. Like, that's the whole map. I feel like, I don't know how long. They have like a refreshment center, water bottle refills, gift shops. They have a library. All of that good stuff. They have a skyline garden. Look at her. It's really quiet here. It's a nice place to come think. Get your mind right.
You just heard it walking by. Yeah. Dang. There's something. Girl, I'm scared. I felt like this shirt. Something's in here. I see. <laughs> oh my God. Is that water dripping, maybe? Right. Just don't know what's in here. Have um, you seen our turtle right here? No. Where? Is that it? Shut up. That thing is big. See the black water drain? Yeah. yeah. If you look right behind him, you see the silhouette of the shell. I see it. I see it. That's, an I alligator. See it. That's an alligator snapping turtle. What? Now, when I first started working here, I was concerned about whether or not he can get out of here. Right. right. If he get up here, he can hurt somebody. Really? He'll, take, he'll take your whole hand off. No you. way. Yeah. And they they got him when he was about this big, mm -hmm. like 20 years ago. And then now, look how big he is. Mm -hmm. Look at, look at, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Because he's going to on it. There it is. Yay. He can stay submerged underwater for like 50 minutes. What? And he'll Ooh, come up. Look at his whole body. Like yep. How many minutes? 50. 50, what, 40, I you said 15. Mm -mm. And this is one of the reasons why I don't get in lakes, creeks, streams, ponds, yeah. rivers. Yeah. If it don't have chlorine in it, I ain't getting in it. Yeah. Because these guys are in there. Yeah, and you don't ever even know. Right. And okay. if he bites you. You do, you go. Yeah. If you're ready in there, buddy. Oh, are you really okay? I need a full experience. Absolutely. <laughs> get, get, get money's worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a little bit. 